Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In previous video, I've already shown you how to add the search bar over here. When I click on this, a text field opens and here we can type anything to search. So I'm going to search for Rohit. So here you can see this, when I type RO, it shows the complete detail of that. So in previous video, I have shown you how to implement this. If you have not watched that video, then just go to description there. I put the link for my previous video or you can simply do one thing. Just click on the suggestion on the right side of the screen. Okay. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add edit and delete button for every item in the recycler view. When I click on this, in this one, I've already implemented that part. Here you can see this, I have slightly changed the color for this one. Here I can delete the record. I can edit the record. When I click on edit, a new pop-up is here. We can update the data like this. Here you can see this Rahul Kumar and click on update. And here you can see this. Now this is Rahul Kumar. If I close this application and if I reopen it and still you will find that the name is Rahul Kumar. Even I go back to this, this one that is five is video on which we are working. So here you can see this. Here, the name is also updated because both app is fetching the data from the same Firebase database. Okay, so it means that update is working and I'm not going to delete any data for now. I'm, I will add one dummy data and after that, I will delete that one. Okay, so I'm going to start this, how to implement. So first thing what we have to do is we have to add this edit and delete button for this in this menu items. In previous videos, I've created this menu item. So you have to go through all the videos and complete the task till here at least over here. After this, we are going to proceed with that one. Okay, so I'm going to add edit and delete button into this one. So let me minimize this one for now. So move back to this menu item. Just double click on this. And here you can see this. Till now we have this. We don't have any button inside this one. Here you can see this, we have only student name, course name, email ID, and one image. So I'm going to add one linear view inside this one. Inside this relative layout, I'm going to add one linear view. Sorry, linear layout actually. Linear layout and the height and width will be match parent and wrap content. And after this, I'm going to set the orientation and that will be horizontal. Not like this, you have to close like this one. Okay. And we have to set this linear. Here you can see this, this linear layout is in the top of this card view. So what we have to do is we have to set this below this email ID or yeah, the, this email ID or below this image. So let me try both layout underscore below. And ID for the image will be something yeah id in img1 oh not this one is not good i'm going to set this below email text and yeah this is good and inside this linear layout we have to add two buttons so i'm going to add two buttons so that will be button and height and width will be 173 db width and height will be wrap content I'm going to set the text for this one that will be something approx no this is the text right so I'm going to set this one first one is edit and after this we have to here you can see this every text is in the capital format so I don't want I have written it only e in capital and remaining is in small but it still is showing in capital so for that we have to write text all caps and make this one false now you can see this now it is in the same format and after this we have to set the layout margin that will be the right margin I'm going to set this one 5 db and I'm going to set the id for this one id I'm going to set btn edit like this one now for this button the task is done I'm going to copy this once again and paste it below Okay, first thing we have to change the name that is the ID. I'm going to change this one to delete and change the text also to delete. 
This time we don't need the right margin, we need the left margin. Like this. Here you can in the center you can see the spaces, right? Okay. So next thing what here you can see observe that the image is now below this button. I don't need that. For that, what we have to do is we have to actually delete this one. Layout center vertical true. Just delete this and here you can see this is on the correct place. Okay, don't worry about the color. I will change the color later. Okay, so now that our design is ready. If I start this and let's check if our design is ready or not. Okay, this is F base and F base video. Here you can see this. For now, the button is added. It means that this is working, but we can't perform any operation because we haven't set anything on the click listener of this button or this one. Okay. So next thing what we have to do is we have to start designing the pop-up which is being opened when we click on the edit button. Okay, so first we are going to code for this edit. Here you can see this when I click on this edit, a pop-up will be here. For that, we have to start with this. Okay, so first thing what I have to do is I have to add one dependency into this build.griddle. So double click on this and just go to site. Not this one, this is my... Firebase. So you have to go over here, https colon double slash github.com and whatever this is, we have to use dialog plus. Okay. So I'm going to provide the, this link in the description of this video. Okay. We have to go below over here and just copy this line, minimize this, move back over here and paste it. And just click on sync. Make sure your system is connected with the internet. Okay, so now this is synced right now. So we have to use this dialog plus. This makes our stuff really easy to view a pop-up. Okay, so we move back over here. Let me just close this because we don't need now. We have set the ID for these. So let me close this, move back over here. So first thing what I have to do is, in this app, you can see that for the textbook, there is some boundary, some color and the corner is curved, right? So we have to set that. We have to create one drawable file for that to set this one. Okay. So for that, let me just create one. Just click on this drawable, right click, click on new drawable source file and just name this one. I'm going to name this one rounded. Hit enter and here we go. Inside this one, we have to set some rules, some stuff like solid this would be after this android and we have to set the color so i'm going to set this one hash and six time no yeah six time f just slash you can change the color this is really white and we have to set the stroke And we have to set the width. I'm going to set the width 1 dB. And Android colon color will be this is the color of the border at 2F6699. You can change according to your requirement. Okay. And I'm going to set the corners. And radius, this actually describes how much curve you want in the corners. Okay, so I'm going to set this one 10 dB. Just save it. Not just change this one selector to shape and now you can see the shape if I change this one to like 35 you can see there's the corner is more curved now with the help of this radius we can set the curve of the corners so I'm going to set the 10 minimum Here you can see this the color you can change the color by clicking on this and selecting the different color composition but I'm going to just use this one 
Just save it and close it. Next thing what we have to do is we have to create one more stuff that is nothing but that pop-up. So for that, just click on layout, right click on this new layout resource file. And I'm going to name this one update underscore pop-up. Click on OK and it will create a design like this, the empty one. Just go to split and here we have to start with the changing first this constraint layout to linear layout linear layout and orientation will be vertical because we are going to put the data uh, sorry the fields and text field text view one another below okay so i'm going to set the orientation to vertical next thing i'm going to start the controls inside this one first you must have observed that we have when you click on this here we have update details so we have to create this view this one so i'm going to create one view over here so that will be text view and the width will be match parent height will be 50 db and text will be update details after this the background we have created one no not one i'm going to set the color that is purple 500 okay and after this text size will be 25 db so that it needs to be visible gravity will be center and text color will be white and i'm going to write the code for that fff yeah here we see this this is white now close this now i've created one text view next thing we have to create two more one text view and another text field right edit text so i'm going to create one more text view this will be match parent and this will be wrap content gravity will be center and after this text size will be 20 sp and layout margin top i'm going to set this one to 5 db and margin top and bottom will be also 5 db and finally i'm going to set the text and this will be the name the first one and here you can see this we have the name over here okay so after this, we need one edit text. So I'm going to add that. Edit text and width will be match parent. Height will be 35 dp. I'm going to set this. And I have to set some margin. So I'm going to set the margin left to 10 dp. And margin right to 10 dp. And I have to set some rounded corners which we have created earlier okay, 10 dp like this okay so background will be at the right drawable rounded and here you can observe now we have something right rounded corners here you can see this we have the rounded corners after this I have to set the gravity to center. It means that whenever any text we start typing inside this one will be in the center of the screen. So I'm going to write the center and I'm going to set the ID for this one. So ID at the right ID will be txt name for the first one and just close it. After this, I'm going to copy this four times to save our time a little bit. One, two, three, four, right? It's oh sorry, it's five time okay four yeah. So now what we have to do is we have to start changing the names only. So first name, and after that we have course, and I'm going to name this one txt course. Below this one 
below course we have email id and i'm going to name this one txt email below this one we have uh, first sorry this is name actually i've by mistake here i've changed this one first one is name and this is txt name second one is okay first one is txt name second one is course and id is txt course below this one we have email id so change this one to email id and txt email after this we have profile url okay so for this one i'm going to name this image url and change this one to txt image url like this now we have done with the text fields now we need to add one button that is will be the update button right so for that we have to write like this button and this will be match parent and height will be wrap content after this we need to set text that will be update right after this we need to set some margin from the left top as well left right first so margin left will be 25 db margin right will be 25 db and we need also some margin from the top so margin top will be 10 db that's looking nice okay after this we have set the text and we have to set the text size text size will be 21 dp this is looking nice text all caps we need to make that false after this we have to set the background so background will be add the red drawable rounded and gravity will be center after this we have to set the id for this button so id id and it will be btn update now our design is ready next thing what we have to do is i have shown that uh, we have changed the color for this design okay for now here you can see this for this one the design the color pattern is different for this top and this one and as well as buttons so i want to change the color first so for that we have to go inside this one values and double click on colors you may don't see this interface like this one you may see the primary color and the secondary color something like this don't not to worry you can select the color from here and in the same way you have to change the color code over here so i'm going to change this one to hash 0 da 89e and the second one that is purple 700 i'm going to change this one to 006 triple it sorry double it p and now save it and now start it once again and you will find that the color for our f base video is changed now and here you can see this in the f base video now when i click on this nothing happens but the color is changed okay so now we move towards implementing these edit and update button for that we have to just Go back inside this one that is the main adapter we don't need to change anything inside these two just move back over here and here we have this already these code are written in my previous video so if you have not watched that i will recommend you to watch that videos so below over in below here you have to go to this my view holder class inside this one we have only access these image name course email but now we have added two more stuff that is buttons so I'm going to link that access that buttons also. So these are buttons. So we have to write buttons, and this is BDN edit, and the another one is BDN delete. 
like this below here we have to access also so bdn edit is equal to and we have to type cast this to button and we have to use item view to access it by id item view dot find view by id r dot id dot bdn edit like this bdn delete again type cast to button after this we have to type item view dot find view by id r dot id dot btn delete like this now the task till here is done next thing what we have to do is we have to move back to our on bind view holder inside this one and here we have to do the remaining task so first thing what we have to do is move back over here and make some space first thing we have to bind that the view which we have created that is update pop-up which we have created we have to bind that with the edit button for that what we have to do is we have to just move back over here and use the holder here you can see this by, by using this holder we can my view holder we can actually access and set all the values to those uh, text fields and any stuff other stuff so by using this we can actually perform the edit operation for a particular item in the recycler view okay so holder dot btn edit i can access it you can see it right now and we have to set on click listener new view on click listener. when you type capital v you will find this first one just double click on that and it will implement a method for you here you have to simply write i'm going to use this dialog plus for that i have already added the dependency inside this one here you can see this dialog plus independence is added and my app is also synced so if you are facing any issue by syncing the application you must make sure that your system is connected with internet okay if for the first time if your system is not connected with internet then you have to just close the application and restart it and then try again to sync it okay so here i have to use final and i have to use dialog plus dialog plus and dialog plus dot new dialog and inside this one we have to type holder dot img dot get context dot set content holder new view holder inside this one we have to pass that layout so r dot layout dot update pop up and after this we have to type set expanded and inside this one we have to pass it true and the second thing is the value how much size for that one the pop up and just finally type create that's it and now what we have to do is we have to show this for the first time without what i want for now is when i click on that edit button in this one when i click on this edit button now i just want this pop-up needs to be open without any data for that i have to simply write dialog plus dot show now restart the application move back over here and here you can see this when i click on this now the pop-up is here the height that is 1200 we have said that 1200 from below to here you can see this just this is 1200 if you change this value this will be more or less according to the changed value okay so now what i want is when i click on edit the data for that particular person will be fetched from the firebase and shown over here and when i click on update which I needs to be up updated okay so minimize it and now let me just comment this for now Now move back over here and we have to create one view. So view view is equal to dialog plus dot get holder view. Now we have view over here. First thing we have to access all the text fields inside this one. Here you can see when I click on this, we have text fields and we have set the name txt name, txt post, txt email, txt image URL. So I'm going to access these. So minimize this. With the help of view, we can do that. 
edit text name is equal to view dot find view by id r dot id dot txt name like this after this we have edit text and we have course is equal to view dot find view by id r dot id dot txt course edit text and we have email is equal to view find view by id r dot id dot email txt email after this we have edit edit text and we have surl that is student url is equal to view dot find view by id r dot id dot txt image url like this after this we have to, now we have accessed all the text fields now we have to access the button that is the update button so for that button btn update is equal to view dot find view by id r dot id dot btn update like this one and now when i click on that button before clicking on that button we have to actually extract the values and set that value into the particular text fields when i click on the edit the data for that particular student needs to be fetched and set into the that dialog box okay so for that i have to set like this name dot set text model this is the model class this one that is main model inside the main model with the help of that we already have the access with the main model here you can see this and with the help of this we can actually uh, there is a predefined sorry we have de defined some getter and setters with the help of that we can actually access the value so dot get name and after this course dot set text model dot get course after this we have email dot set text model dot get email after this we have surl dot set text model dot get surl like this now we have to just show this pop up so dialog plus dot show now let me restart it and let's check if the data is filled again or not this time previously the data is empty when i click on this yeah here you can see this is rahul kumar btech image sorry the email id url and everything is here when i click on this nothing happens when i click on back this is closed when i click on puja yeah the name is visible and the data is being changed here you can see this, this is an amica btech cac amica gmail.com yeah the data is being phased and being shown over the year Next thing what we have to do is we have to perform the click operation on the update. So for that, let me just minimize this. Move back over here and just make some space. Now we have to just perform the operation that is VDN update dot set on click listener view view one. Sorry, not this one. View on click listener like this. Here we have to create a map of the object because this map is is actually passed when we update the data. So first I'm going to create one map object. So map, this will be the value of string and second parameter is object like this. I'm going to name this one map, new hash map like this one. And we have to put the value. So map dot put in the key value pairs, the value is being stored. So first that is name, Make sure this is same as which is in your Firebase database. So here you can see this. Move back over here. We have codes, email, name, yes, URL. So you have to need put the same. Okay. So we are working with this one. Name dot get text dot to string. We are actually extracting the values from the text fields. When we click on update, we have to re-extract the values from the text fields might be user change the values so map dot put and the same we have to use course course dot get text dot to string like this map dot put this time we have to write email email dot get text dot to string 
map dot put inside the email next head next is s url s url dot get text dot to string now we need a instance of firebase database for that we have to write firebase database for this we have already added the dependency in our previous videos so we can directly access this so firebase dot get instance dot get reference dot child so in the child we have to actually pass this value this is the student the root root value this is students in my case if you have changed this value then you have to write the same one so I'm going to write students like this. Now we have to just write child and send this one get ref and we have to pass the position from where I get this position. Inside this on bind view holder we have position. Okay. So move back over here. Now the position is now we need to get the value. So dot get key and now dot update children and we have here you can see this is the update children when i write uh, sorry let me just undo it space update children inside here you can see this it's asking for one map so i have to pass the map inside this one now the value is added inside this and now we have to check that if the data is successfully added or not for that we have to write dot add on success listener and new on success listener like this one when you click on enter a predefined method sorry the o, it will override a method on success and here we have to actually create a toast which will show data is successfully added and that dialog will be dismissed okay so i'm going to create a toast create toast and here it, it will find for some context so i'm going to get it from holder dot name dot get context and inside the text i'm going to pass updated successfully data updated successfully data updated successfully and here we have to and just put dot add on failure listener new view on click no not this one new on failure listener like this if you have to copy this again this toast i'm going to copy this toast and paste it over here and i'm going to change this one to error while updating okay so this toast will be visible whenever we update or update and if there is update will be successful then data update successfully and if there is any error then it will show not updated successfully okay so here it's showing some short of error so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just remove this part now this is good and here i have to add so we need to actually close the dialog also so dialog plus dot dismiss Why I put this dialog plus dot dismiss? Let me just comment this and let me put one comma over here, semicolon. Now start this and let's check if this works or not. Edit. So click on this edit and I'm going to change this one to Rahul for now and just click on update. And here you can see the data updated successfully, but this pop up is still open. So if you want to close it, when I click on this update, after showing the toast message, then you have to write this dialog plus dot dismiss. I have just commented this line. That's why it's not hidden. We have to manually minimize this. If I back click on back, whole application is closed. So this is a very bad way. So I have to just uncomment this and just move back over here. And this time I'm going to edit it. Change this one to K. 
update it and here you can see the data updated successfully and this is minimized in the same way we have to add over here if there is failure so we need to just show the message and dismiss after this what i have to do is i have to add i have to code for this a delete button so update is working fine here you can see this even rahul k we can check this with the firebase here you can see this we have rahul k now okay so minimize this and move back over here below here we have to now start for delete button so holder dot btn delete dot set on click listener new view on click listener and here we have to start with the coding so first we have to create an alert dialog box so whenever you must have seen a pop-up something like let me just show you okay so alert dialog and alert dialog dot builder builder is equal to new alert dialog builder so this one we have to pass the holder dot name dot get context we got the context and we have to set some uh, title for that dialog box so builder dot set title and the set title i'm just going to ask the user are you sure you want to delete are you sure yeah that's it and final description dot set message i'm going to show some message to the user Deleted data can't sorry can't be undo. It means that's a final warning. If you delete the data, you cannot undo or regain that data. Okay. After this, we have to set builder dot set positive button. And this will be delete. I'm going to name this one delete. And we have to set new dialog interface on click listener. When we click on delete, what you want to perform the operation. And when you click on cancel, I need two buttons. So one is for delete and one is for cancel. So negative button, and I'm going to name this one cancel. new dialog interface yeah now this is ready and after this i have to show this builder dot show because without this you can't show that alert dialog box okay so on when i click on delete i have to read the data and if i click on this cancel nothing needs to be happen i just want to show the toast so let me i guess i have copied the toast yeah i have it so I don't need it to be like magic. So I'm going to write like this toast. And here we have to get the context. So for that, I'm going to use a holder dot name dot get context. And the text is canceled. That's it. Now let's start. For delete, I have not written any code right now. So move back over here, click on delete. And here you can see that is sure. Deleted data can't be undo. If I click on cancel, that builder is closed. And if I click on delete for now, nothing happens because I, am, I haven't written any code inside this one. So I'm, now I'm going to write some code over here to delete that data. So Firebase database dot get instance dot get reference dot child. Inside this one, we have to write student root dot child get reference now we are going to access the id over here you can see this under this students we have separate ids s1 s2 s3 s4 s5 and s6 there are different ids so with the help of this id we can delete a particular record because these are unique for each record this is one record this is second record this is third record and we have to access this one so how do we access that for that we have to write now we have access this students below this we have to write dot child dot get reference and we have to pass the position so position 
dot get key when you write this now we have access to that s1 s2 and whatever the data whenever we click on that we have to just write remove value now this code is fine now move back over here i'm going to add a dummy data so just click on this plus s7 and finally plus this one so course will be mba just click on this email something abc at the rate gmail.com plus and name will be abc and surl i'm going to just leave it null for now click on add and s7 is added now move back to the app and let's check here you can see this s7 abc mba when i click on edit here you can see this image url is null so this g is being visible because for the error we have set the gmail icon over here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just copy the image from this row hit and i'm going to paste it inside this another one so select all just keep on clicking copy minimize this back oh move back over here edit this paste it click on update and when you click on update now you can see that abc is also having the same image which rohit have so now when i click on delete it will ask for are you sure you want to delete if i cancel nothing happens cancel this shown over here if i click on this delete and click on delete and here you can see this now this record is not gone Ooh, why this happens you just close this open this once again and move back over here okay we missed we must have missed something so students the position dot get value get key remove value yeah, everything is fine let me check this is not working because we are passing this position where it is let me just yeah here we go we are passing this position in the inner class because this this is an inner class that's why we cannot pass the value directly the from outer class value we cannot pass directly to the inner class for that to pass that value and work correctly we have to make that variable final so what we have to do is just move back over here to the top on by view holder and we have to make this one final and now restart the app and let's check this here we have abc we can actually make changes abc kumar like this and click on update uh, this is being updated here you can see this abc kumar is here when i click on delete cancel yeah cancelled this is working fine delete and click on delete yeah the record is deleted and move back over here in the firebase you can see this one the s6 is over there if i click on this and click on update data updated successfully is over here we are not getting any error so that's fine everything is working now edit we can actually update the data and we can also perform the delete operation so that's it for this video guys in the next video i'm going to show you how to actually add the data in the firebase through the application till now we have added data manually over here but in the next video i'm going to show you how to do that from the application so stay tuned subscribe and share with your friends thanks for watching